What's up sisters, today I'll be doing a finger coil tutorial on my tapered cut. I haven't did a full head of them in a while and I never tried it on this haircut yet so that's what I'm bringing today. Um, my hair is fully washed, shampooed and conditioned, um, dry as heck right now because I wandered off and did other things before putting my leave-in in. So I'm going in with the main choice type 4 leaf clover leave-in and then I'm going to oil my scalp with Arbor Bell Just Oil which has a mixture of good moisturizing oils and sealing oils so i'm just rubbing that into my scalp and um, also to the ends of my hair because those don't get enough love for moisture and then i'm following up with my favorite male pomegranate and honey curl refreshing spray to put that moisture back into my hair before i apply some gel to my head y'all already know how i section my hair off um, i always separate the top from the sides in the back and then i separate the sides from the back and i always begin in the back why finger coils? Finger coils are a great hairstyle for us type 4 naturals. Um, they give us the ultimate definition, springy curls that we usually are not able to get because our hair is so frizzy and kinky. It's a heatless style and it's easy to do, doesn't require a lot of products. And the style can last about a week or more, just don't leave them in too long because they can lock up. The only downfall is that this hairstyle takes forever to do depending on what size you do you do your coils. Um, I'm doing about medium, about medium to small, um, so I don't have to worry about doing too much of a coil out once, once they dry. I'm using my favorite Fantasia Thick and Shine Gel to do my coils. Your hair does need to be wet, so I am adding more curl refreshing spray to my hair. And then I'm applying the gel from root to end and make sure that your hair is detangled. I use the Demon brush because it helps separate the strands. I then take those individual strands and wrap them around my index finger, starting from the root and working my way to the end. As you can see, I just start at the root going twirling my finger around and around and going wider and wider as I get closer to the end and let it just fall off. This is very very easy. Some people do comb coils which I have not mastered yet. I'm afraid I'll pull my hair out that way but with my shorter sections I don't have to worry about going wider at the end of the hair because it's short. I can just twirl it at the tip of my finger so I'm applying the curl refreshing spray to my dry hair and then applying the gel and as you can see I'm not going out too much from um, the strand I'm just keeping it close to um, my scalp as I twirl it around my finger please take note that you can use water instead of the curl refreshing spray I like using the curl refreshing spray because it keeps my hair from being super hard and stiff from the gel once it dries it still has a hold but just a lighter hold that allows my hair to still have body and allows me to add volume to my hair I finish off by doing the top section and I work my way from the front to the back when I do the coils because they're gonna fall forward as you can see these strands are longer so I am going to do the um, wide twirl at the end of my hair because it just makes it easier for the, um, the coil to wrap around my finger if you try to stay narrow with the twirl, then you'll end up twisting your hair too tightly at the scalp. You don't want to put that type of tension on your hair. As you can see, my curls are pretty small, so this did take about an hour and a half to two hours. Definitely with my girls distracting me every now and then. I like to air dry my coils, so I just walk around and let them just dry throughout the day and lay on them with a satin cap on my head. Um, if I use a dryer, I feel like it makes it duller. So I just tend to just let it air dry and the effect is more shiny, bouncier hair. So my styling technique is more for a next day look. So this is my hair the next morning, fully dry. I'm just adding an oil mix to my hair to give it even more shine and just rubbing that through. You can see all the bouncy coils in my hair. And at first I was worried. I felt like the coils weren't gonna stand up, but you know, I just start picking at it, picking at the roots. Don't pick at the end. And just pick 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 until you form the shape that you desire or your haircut is supposed to be separate some coils if you have to and lay those baby hairs down and boom it's a look y'all like it i like it i really love it i've been doing finger coils since 2014 if you need a more detailed video i'm going to put a link right here to one of my old videos from way back in the day on my natural sisters channel which gives you probably more details on how to do finger coils tell me if you've tried finger coils before and if you like them or not 
I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thank you for watching. Peace out sisters.